and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to talk about a budget priced bike that just got an upgrade at no additional cost to you the consumer so the bike I'm talking about is the electric XP 3.0 so they are adding now hydraulic brakes to their XP uh, 3.0 uh, before they had just mechanical brakes so that is a nice uh, nice little upgrade there and it's not going to cost you anything additional the bikes are going to stay at their current price of $999 so hey when you can get an upgrade uh, without having to pay more money that's a plus for sure but uh <clears throat> that bike the uh, electric XP 3.0 is a very popular it might be the most popular uh, bike out there right now priced at under a thousand dollars I mean nine hundred ninety nine dollars and I mean it's got a it's got a uh, did I make the turn here it's got a 500 watt motor but it does peak at a thousand watts um, which is really good I mean you got to take into account that you're only paying $999 so to get a bike that peaks out at a thousand that's at a 48 volt they have a 20 amp controller so not the biggest controller in the world but you're not expecting that for this uh, price so this and the uh, battery's a 10 and 10.4 amp hour battery but you know I believe that's the size of the battery still but uh if you just want to get into the uh e-bike world and don't want to spend a fortune you know and you have a budget that only allows for a certain amount of money then i think this is as good as you're going to get um for this kind of money this would be if I was rating bikes uh, and I'm gonna always start at a thousand dollars and work up because I don't think uh, I think going any lower than that you're gonna get um, something that's not satisfactory I think you got to spend if you're gonna buy an electric bike I think you do have to go a thousand and up and this one's a dollar less than a thousand so that's close enough and uh, it's a folding bike which is convenient I don't have a folding bike myself but I actually wouldn't mind having one just for the convenience of it you can take it just basically put it in the trunk of your car and take it with you and also it's good for uh, storage you know sometimes we're limited in how much storage we have when we get adding to our bike collection it gets more difficult to uh, keep them all so if you have a folding bike though you can kind of slip that into a closet somewhere or hide it in your garage somewhere where you uh, are not taking up a lot of space by folding it but that XP electric XP 3.0 is a it's quite the bike I mean if I think if I only had I mean I've shop around a little bit but I don't think if I only had that thousand dollar budget I don't know if you're gonna beat that one you know I guess you you might be able to get something that's a different 
style that you, maybe you don't like that particular style of bike so that may sway you somewhere else but the other thing you could do I suppose is wait for a sale and see if see if a bike comes on sale for a really good price like knocking off four or five hundred dollars you know maybe a fourteen or fifteen hundred dollar bike that you get all the way down to a thousand dollars but sometimes if you do that in your weight you wasted a year or two of riding waiting for something to happen and then in the meantime bike prices go up even more and you end up uh, in the long run having to pay more money anyway but uh, so anyway I think that's a, a pretty nice upgrade without having to spend any extra money I'm riding around right now on the uh, Lyric Graffiti which I recently uh, had the flat tire fixed but I was going to make mention to the electric XP the only electric bike I've tried so far is a trike so I don't know I've not tested ridden uh, test ridden a uh, an XP 3.0 so I can't give you my opinion on the bike as far as how it how it is for riding but you know just going by the specs and what other people who have had that bike are saying I mean it's an extremely popular bike it, it may be the best selling budget priced bike as I say out there um, for, for what it can do it's also I should make mention to it's a class three it's a class one two and three bikes so it'll get up there with a little bit of speed as well so pretty nice uh, bike if you don't want to spend a lot and it's a good starter bike if you want to uh, get into the e-bike world and then see how you like it and how things go and that's how we usually start out as uh, I myself started out with it wasn't really a budget priced bike because it was basically the best bike that they had and that's uh, Rad Rover I had the uh, first bike I ever had was the Rad Rover 4 first electric bike and um, I really like that bike I still have it to this day I do need to get a back tire for it because of the tire I have worn the tire on it but just the back tire that's generally what we're going to wear first because sitting on the bike we're sitting on the rear end of it so uh, that's the tire that's going to uh, be the one that's going to uh, wear down faster. But that's a great bike for uh, if you're looking specifically more for a definite, a definite uh, pedal assist bike. But it's not no $999, so there is that. That's why I think that XP uh, 3.0 is probably as good as you're going to get out there. It's a good starter bike, as I say. And then get your feet wet and see how you like it. and. And maybe down the road you work your way up to something a little more, um, you know, that's even more to your liking. Because riding, you get experience and get to know where that bike is lacking, where you'd like to have a little more. Maybe it's a little more power, a little more speed. Maybe you want a bike that's, I, I don't know, got other features, bigger motor, uh, bigger battery. Who knows? Well, that's going to do it for this video, talking about the Electric XP 3.0 with the hydraulic brake upgrade from the mechanical brakes. Still $999. I will leave a link in the descriptions. If you want to go check it out for yourself, go right on ahead. So thank you for joining me.
on this video today. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button and you'll be... Uh, and I thank you for subscribing. And then also the notification bell. If you hit that notification bell, you will be notified as to when the next video comes up. And each time I do release a new video, which is pretty much on a daily basis, if I can do it. And uh, you'll be notified when that happens. And if you'd like to make a comment on this or any other video that you've seen on the channel, go right ahead and leave a comment in the comments section. So once again, thank you for joining me on this ride. And until next time, take care.